Hi friends, welcome back to Hobby Plus. In my last video, I told you the outline of the relaxation oscillator. But today I am going in brief. First of all, you have to understand why this diode we are putting here. In that situation, the motor have a inductor. All we know in the motor there is a coil, so it is an inductor. When your power on the motor, that means inductor going to be charged. But when the motor is off, the inductor try to discharge some other way. If you don't put this diode in reverse bias, then the inductor power make a noise and disturb the whole circuit okay so that is the way to discharge the inductor that's why we put here a diode in opposite direction i mean reverse bias now before of all you have to understand how ugt is work that is your ugt UGT means unijunction diode. First of all, we have to calculate what is the voltage in this point. In my video, I already told you that is the voltage divider circuit. Now look this, there is some loss. If I don't calculate this, then I can tell you I can get voltage here only 6 because that is 100 ohms and that is also 100 ohms. So you get here 6 volt. Now what is UJT you have to understand how the UJT is work. That is a basic and simple matter. Please listen each and everything then you understand how the UJT is work that is the emitter point that is a B1 and that is a B2 in that case that means 2N2646 UJT emitter base voltage is 3.5 I told you according to data sheet so when the 3.5 volt in is appear in the emitter then the UJT is connecting mode now you have to understand one more thing and that is very interesting suppose this UGT is in conducting mode then you get here 6 volt that means 6 volt plus 3.5 volt should be appear on the emitter if you want to conduct this UGT so when you put the resistance here I mean potentiometer and there is a capacitor that means through potentiometer capacitor going to be charged and when it is in conductive mode then you get 6 volt in the B1 so this capacitor going to be discharged through emitter to B1 that means when you conduct then you get 6 volt here according across across to ground that means capacitor charge must higher than 6 plus 3.5 means 9.5 volt then the UGT in conductive mode when you get here 6 volt and capacitor going to be charged that means you get a interesting part just hold on I will show you
look at this there is a curve that is input that means capacitor charging curve and that is the output curve your power is coming through this potentiometer to capacitor suppose 3.5 volt is here that is your 3.5 volt range when 3.5 volt is appear on the emitter of the UJT then the UJT goes to discharge that means it is in connecting mode when it is connected then you get 6 volt here when you get 6 volt here and capacitor going to be charged because this supply is on so your curve goes to like that Do you understand that? After that, you get this curve. After that, that means that is the important resistance who can change your PWM. Remember it. That is very interesting. If you give here a small resistance, then the capacitor through a meter, through base, through this resistance, I mean R1, to ground so when the capacitor fully discharged the EJT goes to be off so you can get this pulse from the B1 not B2 remember that that means when you get here 6 volt that means you get here 9.5 volt that means from the R one the capacitor going to be discharged through this UGT means it will take time so your time graph goes to be high that means on time goes to be high that means you have two choice one is smaller resistance if you want to stop the motor immediately or you change your capacitor value to little to discharge the capacitor first and also you have one more thing if you put here a high resistance then you get high on time if you put here a low resistance then your time goes to be short that means on time goes to be short remember that that is the basic fundamental of the relaxation oscillator now can you tell me or i will tell you why it is relaxation oscillator where is the relaxation that is the relaxation part that means off time that is working part that is relaxation part you may change your PWM to change this resistance or this capacitor value or this potentiometer value. When do everything which you want to do after that when you put the voltage to the SCR gate SCR is nothing SCR is a rectifier and you can get high power from this SCR. Also, you can control the SCR from the gate. That means absolutely depend on your purpose. You have to design your circuit. That is the main working principle of this relaxation oscillator. Why? How it is work? How we manage it? How we calculate the voltage? how we calculate the potentiometer value how we calculate the capacitor value absolutely depend on your necessary circuit you can use this circuit make a flashing light make a indicator road indicator road flashing light load signal you can use this circuit it is very useful 
and very easy to design and there is some data you have to calculate this you change this potentiometer you change this capacitor you, you change this resistance value then you understand how can you design the relaxation oscillator it is very easy and simple circuit no problem at all if you understand then you can do this i think you have no problem at all if you have any doubt please tell me i will solve your problem and try to discuss again about this oscillator and you know what to do please do this thank you thank you for watching